Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another live stream here. Today we're going to be checking out this game called 18, not 18 wheels of steel. Um, it's called Truck Simulator USA. I don't know what this is. It's freaking ads everywhere. Uh, what the fuck is this? Okay, that is weird. I'm going to get demonetized. So, this is Truck Simulator USA. But anyway, this is Truck Simulator USA, and, um, yeah, so let's get into it. So, let's start with careers, um, <laughs> super cool stuff, this is the truck that you start off with, and this is the game that I talked about that kind of sucked. This game kind of sucks. Um, I did get a new update. But the update is actually kind of, I don't know if it's garbage or whatnot, but I hope they, uh, looks like they changed a lot. We're going to be taking a first look at this game. It's been a while since I've played it. Um, but yeah, so. So let's go and pick up a job because we have to go to that orange spinny thing over there. Let's get into the inside. Oh, which is this right here? What is this? What's your name? So we got this is much than oh, that's one. It's uh it's way different than Here in Chicago, and uh, what is out? Let's take this job. We need the most money. Um, let's go to. Let's take that job. All right, awesome. Now you drive the destination. But turn on the light, the lights are absolutely atrocious. Very weird. Okay, so this game is really weird. Oh, it's little. No. Is it really, really just picked up from? But engine sounds are not that good. It's really, really, really picked up from. Yeah, you'll hear the, uh... Oh, you 
Or we're doing a windshield washer up ahead. Stuff like that. It's kind of like 18 inches of steel, but not really, but it's like mobile. Very weird. Just it's my job. I need to pick it up. It's not. It's not... Bro, it's not letting me take it. What is happening right now? It's glitched out. The game is glitched out. I don't know what's happening. It's called trust. Seriously, man. I have to restart the whole thing. <laughs> Global jobs. Okay, they changed it. Take this. A grand. They literally had a parking brake in the game. The 
did change the graphics. That's the one. Um, but... Happy, uh... Wednesday? Happy Wednesday to you guys. That's right. Weekday. Very interesting game. Like the inside detail. I don't know what's happening with the lights. I think you can actually use the settings. Is there settings in this game? There's no settings. Is that settings? No. Settings. No, that's home. God damn it. Where is the settings? Skip video, please. There's settings. Alright, settings. Graphics. Can you change? So you just have to deal with that. Okay. That is just nice. Just brilliant. What I just need. Why is there no sound now? There's a cop. Right there. You guys hear it? Um, this game is super weird. There's the cruise control, which we're definitely going to have. Oh my god, that guy just completely cut us off. Graphics are really weird. Physics are super weird. Can you guys hear it? I think the game is broken. I think the game is broken. That is just nice. Let's get up to speed. Let's set our cruise control. And what you have to do, no matter what is stop for the scales in this game. It's literally, literally 18 wheels of steel, but mobile. It's literally 18 wheels of steel. And so that's what we're taking. So we're taking some cars. Everything just looks so weird and this game is on PC this game is on PC which actually is kind of super weird and we will be checking this game out PC wise see what the difference is so there's a the truck stop we don't need fuel or anything but mainly what they did was change the uh, the graphics and everything. Um, and it's very, very, very easy to speed in this game. I mean, the cops are just absolutely like dumb in this game. No matter what I think it's in San Francisco or somewhere where there's like a little sliver and you have to go like what you can't drive through it so you have to find a way to get around 
everything and everything. And it's just like, why am I even going to deliver? I forgot what city it is, but there's that in the game. Look at that sunset. So they did change the graphics. The graphics look really well. It's just super weird. They should enhance the like road texture. I mean like mountain textures. And also you can't mod in this game. I think you can on the PC version. But I don't know if you can in this version. But um looks like the Ooh, there's a was that an off road trail? We have to go and check that thing out. But um yeah, we're just following the trail here. Um, we're going to go with this bad boy right here. But we have 400 miles to our destination and stuff. But yeah, so PC is coming today. Can't wait to uh, get back on. And there is the same people that made this game also made Euro Truck simulator which we're going to actually compare Euro truck from SCS software and the mobile Euro truck and combine it well not combine it but compare it and see of course SCS is going to be better but um and then also the same people that made this game also made Truck Simulator 3D, if you guys don't know that game. I still have it on a different device. It's not on here. I don't know if it's even here. It's probably gone, but I remember playing that game. There's a prison of some sort. And yeah, my finger does burn up. But yeah, so we're going, so we're probably super close to Montreal. Um, with this river. But yeah, this game is super weird. I mean, it's Truck Simulator. It's one of the better truck simulators. But if you don't want to buy a $2 American truck, uh, like, truck in-game, then I would recommend this game being the closest to uh, Truck Simulation 19. This is the closest thing. And then if you can't, buy like euro truck but you, um like SCS I would recommend doing Euro Truck Evolution uh Truck Simulator 2 Evolution. It's on mobile, that's the name of it. Um and it uses the Eighteen wheels of steel type of stuff. So Yeah, and we'll go and check this game out on PC. I think it's like three dollars on PC probably. Not a lot, but um Yeah, and we've got to turn our lights on. Oh no. There we go. I think it's Montreal where the weird cop guy is. No, I think it's uh Minnesota. <gasps> There's a train. Oh, that is 
train simulator. So weird. It's so weird to be in this game. So there's a depot right there. It's probably like a construction depot or something. We got another depot over here. We're going to, I think the, uh, I'll show you guys the trucks that you get. The lights are super dang quick. Looks like they're expanding. There's like a crane over there. Interesting. Very interesting break. There we go. And we turn on our turn signal. So, yeah, we made it to Montreal super quick. I don't know why and then you can also use the radio which is weird which we're not going to use that but if you want to listen to music while you're trucking in this game see what i mean it's already red and we may actually like road work Dropping off here at this place right here. Where are we dropping off at? Hats or lights. Alright, and then I think it's in the back. In the back, park it in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, oh my god, it just randomly rains on you. Why is it... Oh, you have to go way wide for this. Like this, and turn it like this. Reverse. Go forward. I don't know why the sound is gone. Um, but hopefully you guys could hear me, and we could drive it in like this. Park it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Forget ads, man. Yes. Die. There. there it is. I hate ads. What is happening? Okay, the trailer just disappeared. And it's broken. Absolutely broken. That is just nice but that is that game um yeah the game is absolutely broken absolutely broken <sighs> Look at that. there's the sound Parties? Get out of the freaking truck, man. Yeah, sensitivity is not that great, but. Oh my god, go in circles. 
All right, so. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it here. If you guys did enjoy this, um, this game, please leave a like and subscribe. Same with the other uh, truck simulator. I have to redo that because my, my mom called me. And um, we're going to be redoing that, doing a different one. But anyway, if you guys did like this game, uh, if you guys do want to see another uh, another video of this game, please like and subscribe. And um, once we get a bunch of stuff, I'll show you guys the trucks. But, um, we'll do a bunch of fun stuff, I'm telling you, we'll do a lot of stuff, and, um, yeah, I'll buy some money so we can purchase everything, all the trucks, all the trailers, all the uh, different stuff, and, um, yeah, so what do you get with this game? Well, you get, you can upgrade the truck, we have... We have 13 or 18 grand. We have 18 grand in our pocket. We can upgrade this truck or buy a new one. We could add like front bumpers, uh, different bumpers and stuff. And see, we're not gonna buy any of them, but customization kind of sucks. Plate numbers do. The stacks, which is Do you could add pipes, or expendable pipes, do you like bullhorn, that steering wheel? You could upgrade the steering wheel. Uh, lights? Visor, that's what it looks like. Wheels, different wheels and tires. Which is super cool. Uh, you can do like that. <laughs> Jobs and do a bunch of different colors of your choice, camos, custom paint job or whatever. Power train upgrades, you can do engines, transmissions. And then uh, those are the upgrades. Changing truck. There are a few different types of trucks that you can get. So we got the Cascadia. We got the International Lone Star. We got the 389, 379 um, Peterbilt, which is super cool. That's one of my favorite trucks of all time in this game. Uh, why? Because the engine is just, and the Jake brake sound so good in this truck. So that's what I'm going for. Hopefully, we can possibly buy this thing in a few. If you guys want to see more, we this is going to be my next truck that we purchase. After that, we got a 375, 375. 
79 or 76 uh, Peterbilt. We got a Volvo, the older Volvo. Um, we got a Coronado. Western Star um, type of truck. Kenworth T880? 680? W900. Uh, Western Star uh, something. We got a uh, Euro type of truck. Maybe it's an international or like model. We got the T. Uh, what is this? The K100 long version with the extended chassis. Which is super cool. We got the Kenworth W900 long in black. Super interesting truck. And then we got the Kenworth C500 Twin Steer, one of my favorite friggin' trucks of all time in this game. And we got the K100 Long, another one of my favorite trucks ever made in this game. I like the chrome, like, that looks sick, but look at the price! Super expensive, and um, then we got the. What is this? The. Let me know what this truck is. Is this the cat? Like something? It looks like a cat. Let me know what this truck is. I don't know. I'm gonna say Western Star something. Uh. 90s Corporation truck? Or an older Volvo, maybe? It looks like a Volvo and a 90s Corporation truck and a Freightliner made a baby and made this truck. I don't know what that truck is. Looks like a Freightliner to me. Australian. Truck, which is super cool. And then uh, we got the Phantom W9, uh, not W9. Yeah, it is W900 Phantom. Look at that. I thought it was a Peterbilt. I never knew that there's a Kenworth Phantom. We got a Kenworth. W990. I did a video of this truck in American Truck Simulator to uh, this folks name Washington. So that's pretty cool that they have that. Mac. Amp? I don't know. No, it looks like the amp. From the newer Volvo uh, VNL type of truck. Oh, we'll get to that truck right there. Um, but this is the newer Volvo, I think. Yeah, the VNL. Where's this one? Bro, oh, there's like so many different options. And this is the uh, W900. Uh, W900, why do I keep saying W900? Western Star, I think, Long something. Uh, the next gen Kenworth and the next gen Peterbilt truck, which is super cool, and another next gen uh, Peterbilt as well. And you get a Tesla truck. Look at that! We'll be checking that thing out. Um, here's the VNL day cab version. Pretty cool there. Another Western Star. Right 
there. And you got a futuristic uh, Audi R8 Freightliner cast Peterbilt Tesla made a baby long Kenworth. I don't know what this truck is. What is this? What is this? Bro, there's... Maybe it's a Tesla long version? Then you get the heavy haul. You get a Peterbilt. Um, Peterbilt um, long. You got a Cascadia day cab. Yeah, day cab with an arrow kit on it. And then you get a... Uh, the international or something and then you got that so that is what you get with the game and then um map this is pretty much oh you could go up to alaska oh what is yeah it's not modeled lot but we went from Chicago we took this whole trip from Chicago to Montreal ah we took this route right here and went straight like that so pretty interesting you can zoom all the way in and yeah it's like a way station no matter where you go you have to stop at these things It looks like you could actually wash your truck. What? Oh, and there's charging stations too. That is very interesting. But like any other trucking game, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this game? Do you guys not? Leave a comment down below. To me personally, I don't really like this game. Um, but if you guys want to see more of this, we will bring it back to the channel and make a lot of money and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it here. Hope you guys have a wonderful thing. I don't know why it's doing that. But, um, it's like we're out of the truck. Not? What? The game is absolutely broken but anyway guys that's gonna do it here if you guys enjoyed leave a comment down below subscribe if you're new and like the video and i'll see you guys later today or tomorrow